Do you guys think I look intimidating with these fake tattoos? Yeah, they're fake. But let me know down below in the comments. Do you guys think tattoos would suit me? But then again, tattoos are painful, so maybe not. Anyways, welcome back to another episode of Scary Saturdays, a series where I react to scary animations and short horror films every single Saturday, submitted by you guys. I feel like this week I might be a little bit late. Anyways, like always, I got my trusty YouTube blankets. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm so excited. So earlier this week, I tweeted out asking you guys to send me submissions, and this week, you guys sent me so many videos, so thank you so much. If you guys want a shout out in one of these videos, please follow me on Twitter right now at RageElixir. And uh, whenever I tweet it out, please send in submissions if you guys want to be a part of these videos. The first video is sent over by Glitcher1235, and this video is called the neighbor by Wansi Entertainment. I will go ahead and link every video that I react to down below in the description. And uh, I'm just glad we're starting off with an animation. A little lighthearted, you know? It happened when I was in middle school, seven years oh, ago. Oh God. I lived in a small village and there His, was a uh, man in my neighborhood. His smile is so creepy. You guys see him back there? He lived in a small house next door and always walked around barefoot. So I used to call him Mr. Barefoot. Whenever I came Makes across sense. him on the street, <laughs> He used to ask me to come over to his place. Hey, but my mother he just wanted a friend. always told me to be careful of him because she had heard some screams of women from his house several what? times. Wait, how old is Maybe this man? She I thought he was a boy. But she was still wary of him as she thought there was something fishy about him. Did he just eat However, a butterfly? I believed he was a good man. One day I oh, met him on the no. street by chance. I grumbled at him that I was so tired of school. Then he Poor said, kid. smiling broadly, Oh yeah, you want to stop being annoyed by such crap and be free, right? I know how to set you free. Come the over trap. to my place and I'll show you. I'm so creeped out by this guy right now. What the heck, dude? No wonder parents tell you not to trust strangers because of people like him. He if, the, out if, it. if the world was more pure, you know, stuff like this wouldn't, wouldn't be an issue. His hand. However, just for a fleeting moment, I sensed something horrible yeah. about him. I mean, from his hand and his eyes, Ooh, I felt no like thank if you, sir. I did hold his hand, he would just haul me into his place. Uh, I turned him down, no saying my you. mom wouldn't allow it. His mouth was still smiling, but his eyes were not. He was Ooh. actually frowning, and his hands <gasps> were trembling. I hurried to school. Get over here, when night little fell, kid. I wasn't able to sleep because of the irresistible lure of curiosity. So I went to his house on the quiet and peeped into his place through the window. In the house, he was eating bread with a glass of wine. What? Do you guys see what the heck is in his house? No wonder his mom heard screams of women. Dining table covered with food. There were also women lying around on the couch and bed. It looked pretty weird. So I went home and I didn't take it too seriously. After what that day, mean? he would continue to shout at me whenever we happened to meet on the street. Set you free! One day, Ew. it was very noisy outside. I went out to oh, see what we was got going cops? on. Police officers. They were located at Mr. Barefoot's house. I heard a shocking thing that three dead women were found inside. Each of them was lying on the couch, the he bed, literally saw and the bathtub. Oh my What's God. weird? is so that creepy. all three were iron chained by the neck and the chains were broken on the back of their necks carved with a knife was no wonder he kept saying set you free largely written free i okay. heard mr barefoot yelling at the police they're truly free at last breaking away from the yoke of life all thanks to me the that police kid was about to turn into that. and took him away when the police asked him, with him why he killed the women, he answered like this. Sir, what do you think freedom is? Only death is truly freedom. So that's which what has he meant. been desired by all kid. humans. That's exactly what I gave them. Maybe foolish people think I am such a criminal or murderer, but I yeah, absolutely that's exactly don't what you care are, about man. it. What the heck? Because I know what I did was the only way to help them find true happiness. 
What According to the dude. investigation, oh my he gosh. kidnapped the women, bound Help. them with iron chains, and cut the chains off to by leave. hammering them hard. The women were killed while he was doing so. Not surprisingly, he was sent to jail. However, after some time, I received a letter. What? From him. This is what the letter said. Why is he so obsessed with this kid? I feel so sorry. I am locked up here and cannot kill you. Because what? I can't get out of here, I will send you my messenger who will kill you on my behalf. What I the know heck, man? This is man? the only way to set you free. You should have never boy, talked to that man. Believe me, and you will find true happiness. When you finally meet my messenger, put yourself in his hands. No. He will end your life just in the blink of an eye without pain. You got to tell the authorities, your mom you even. Free. Though I could only see it in a photograph. Till then, take care. So did he After die? After I read it all, I called the police oh. right away, screaming. My father even hired a bodyguard for me. That's good. A few days later, a man really broke into my house. He choked the bodyguard with an iron what? chain until he passed out. <laughs> then, cruelly hammered the bodyguard's neck. While he was completely absorbed in hammering, Bro. the police finally arrived. Oh, I'm so glad they caught him. The bodyguard the world? was terribly wounded. The criminal was identified to be Mr. Barefoot's friend. It well, was I mean, so unbelievably be? horrible that just a couple of days later, Only my sick family people hang and out I with other sick moved people. out right away. Yeah, no thank Seven you. Seven years have passed, and fortunately, nothing has happened to me until oh. now. But deep down, inside me, I'm still awfully scared. Yeah, scared I'd be that scared too. He will send me a letter again. Gosh, that is really creepy. I thought we were gonna start off on a lighthearted note, but no. This next video was sent over by Ultimate Games and they said, I think you should watch this one. It's pretty scary and pretty funny at the same time. This video is called Peephole, short horror movie by Josh Pictures, 5.2 million views. Okay, this is, I hope it's a good watch. Let's see how good it is. Funny and scary at the same time, okay. It's given like that vibe. Of like the old cartoons like Popeyes oh it is it's like one of those old like shows black and white shows oh yeah honestly like knocks on the door at nighttime when you're all alone watching TV is kind of creepy oh he's watching a puppet show people dude oh what the wait <laughs> that's him what the and and where is he like i've never seen an apartment that literally looks like a prison or like a i don't know what it looks like a bunker an underground bunker that's him what the heck raise your hand or something huh there's nothing oh there is nothing wait it's gonna make him go outside oh They're knocking again. <laughs> this time it has his hand right there. That's literally him. Oh. It's like a mirror. So who's watching him from behind? <laughs> oh, I can definitely see why it's funny now. Oh, wow. Okay, so, but I'm kind of scared something's about to happen to him, though. Maybe there's something watching him. Maybe there's a... Why is he dancing? <laughs> oh no. What the... What the heck just happened? Bro, that's not funny. Stone? Okay, he's gonna look through the people. I'd be scared. Oh my gosh! No, it was looking straight. Is there someone gonna be? Uh, oh my god! What? What the heck? 
What is happening? Huh? What? Oh, you're not escaping now. He's controlling you now. Well then. What would you do in that situation? He's being controlled. That's literally what sleep paralysis feels like. Only you, you can only move your eyes. That's all. Oh, you're done. Oh my goodness. Look at what's happening to the TV. Oh, it was looking at him. Oh my goodness. <gasps> that, that was really well made. Okay, I can see why it was both funny and scary now. Ultimate Games, you sent me a really good submission, so thank you. This next submission is sent in by Katanaman7788. I think they have already sent in another submission before, but this one is called Netflix and Chill Short Horror Film by ACM Official. And you guys already know ACM Official makes some pretty crazy stuff. Okay, he's actually just chilling, watching some Netflix, cookie. That's a bunch of cookies. Hello. What do you think I'm watching right now? Are you gonna binge it all tonight? Uh, That's what I do. Uh, I binge watch. What are you eating? Cookies. Wait, don't tell me. Cookies? No. I'm on a diet, remember? She's lying! She's capping. Um, sliced veggies. If you say so. Well, She's lying. I'm gonna get back to the show. Talk later. Yeah, okay. Bye. Wait, what, what? I just got caught off guard. They actually did turn into sliced veggies. Wait, when did that diet, happen? Remember? <laughs> what are you eating then? Um, she shouldn't have lied. Veggies. If you say so. No way. I'm gonna get back to the show. Talk later. She's like, wait, yeah, what? Okay. Bye. How does that happen? There's carrots, celery now. Oogies? Her mind's playing games with her, huh? It really has been a long day. Maybe you shouldn't watch it anymore. Just go to sleep. Oh, she's just gonna continue watching? Alright. Cool. Huh? Hey, can I come over? Oh, it's her boyfriend. Not tonight. Yeah, it's been a long day. Please, I miss you. I miss you too. I just want to be alone tonight. Fair enough. Are you mad at me? Bro, just just let it let it rest, man. She's just trying to enjoy her night without you. Just accept it. My grandpa just passed and I need some time alone. What? She lying? I'm so sorry. Text me when you feel better. I will. Was, was that a lie? Seriously? Just put it on do not disturb. You know, when, when I feel like I don't want to be bothered, I just put it on do not disturb. And we're chilling. What? She just hung up on her mom. What the? Why won't everyone just leave me alone? Yeah, she's trying to chill. Hello? Erica, it's mom. Mom, you don't have to say it's you every time. Your number's saved in my phone. We've been over this. What happened? It's your grandpa. What? No! No! Literally every lie she's telling is becoming true. What? What? I'm so sorry, sweetie. It just happened. Can you come over? Right now? Yes. Your brother's already on his way. Oh my gosh. Everything she's saying is turning right now. into the truth. Did Why? You not hear me? Your grandpa's dead. Mom, I know, but what other lies she about? knew him, and it's late. Erica, you better come right now. Mom, I'm really sick, and I've been coughing, <coughs> and I have the chills. Let me get some rest, and 
if I'm feeling better, I'll She better not you. say something stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. First thing in the morning. She's literally I'm jinxing her first. life. I don't want you getting everyone sick. Feel better. She's about to get oh. chills and a cough Good all of a sudden. Good night. How has she not realized that she's bringing... She's speaking everything into existence. <clears throat> oh, there we go. We got the cough coming in. <laughs> Stop lying. Yep, <laughs> the chills are coming. Use your blanket. Uh huh. Oh, she got another call. Who's calling her this time? Hello. Are you happy with your current internet service? Sorry, I I actually can't talk right now. I have a really bad headache. And she's about to have a headache now too. Oh, oh, she's literally just killing herself right now. She got a headache. She's a chronic liar, dude. Just put your phone on Do Not Disturb. It really isn't that hard. Hello. Did you say you were happy with your current internet Leave service? Leave me alone. You're giving me a brain aneurysm. Oh, she's about to have a brain aneurysm. Uh-oh. This is why you shouldn't lie. See, guys? This is why you don't lie. Wait, can brain aneurysms kill you? <laughs> oh no! She just she literally just died. Our next submission was sent in by Tiff. And this one is called Ouija 2. Also by ACM Official. I remember when I made a few Ouija board videos. Those were fun. And scary at the same time. To Gabby and Isabel. They just sent a letter? Oh wait, there's a letter and the Ouija board, isn't it? Who was it? We got a package. Uh-oh. It's a really big uh, package Weird. you have there. I don't see what's from. Who cares? Let's open it. I'm scared for these two. Oh, there it is. There's the Ouija board. Maybe. Do you want to play? No, and I think you should be back outside. Come on, Isabel. It'll be fun. Fun, they Talk said. It'll be scared. fun, they said. I'm not scared. Hmm. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's play. She got peer pressure. Go Never fall panels. into peer pressure, guys. That is the number one rule. Isabel. Uh-oh. Are there any spirits with us right now? It's about to start moving. Well, that was fun. Can I go back to coloring now? Just wait. Oh, there it goes. It's moving. <gasps> She's like, I know you're doing that. It isn't me. How many spirits are with us? Uh-oh. There's one. There's one. Are Good thing there's only one. Are you a friendly spirit? Yes? No! It's going to no! Oh. Stop trying to scare me. I know it's you. I swear it isn't me. She's not very Are convincing, you though. Evil spirit. <laughs> That's it. Time to say goodbye. Is there something you want? Gabby, I said time to say goodbye. Oh my god. Fine. Wait, you aren't supposed to. Oh, it's moving on its own now? What the heck? Oh, it's over for them. Once it starts moving on its own, it's, it's game over. Wait, what? It went to R? S. S? Oh. O? U. U? R? So you? Soul. Soul? What was the last question you asked? I asked what it wants. Oh, they're souls. Oh my god! Run! Oh my gosh. It better run. 
Give me your soul. Shouldn't have played this game in the first place. Light up the matches. Hurry. Before it's too late. Before it's too late. Oh no. Isabel? Oh my gosh. He real she really got her own little sister in trouble. She's possessed now. She her, her sister's soul got taken away. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, be late. That's what you get for being too curious. These have been scary, but our last submission was sent in by Maria Zell. Fear Filter, a Snapchat horror short by Tracy Kleeman. Last one, okay? Last one for this week. And by the way, follow me on Twitter if you guys haven't already. If you guys want to send in your own submissions and want a shout out in one of these episodes. Fear Filter. Why is that her ringtone? That's so creepy. It's like the Jack in the Box sound. Huh? Oh, she's on Snapchat. It's the dog filter. All right, she's just sending them over to her friends. Just a normal dog filter, you know, nothing too crazy. All right, she's going through all the filters now. Let's see if she finds a new one. She's like, all right, the bunny one, really cute. What the? What the heck? The bunny ones go going crazy. Yo, I've seen stuff like this where your filter starts detecting stuff in midair as if like there's a ghost. You're not alone. Who's Johnny? Her pet? Maybe? Alright, see it's detecting her face again. Is she about to see something? Wait a second. Maybe after she sends it, she's gonna see something. Oh my gosh! That's so creepy, dude. It's not stopping. Look behind you! Or just run at this point. Just watch it gets closer and closer. Oh my god! Bro. Johnny, if this is a joke, it is. What the heck? I'm getting freaked out. It's moving. It's moving. Well. Just turn off your phone. That's all you need to do. You don't have to be scared. She's been in this house for- Oh my god! Here it goes. She actually got knocked down. What the? What is she doing? Just run. What the heck? You act like that phone's gonna stop it from hurting you. Huh? Wait, what? Did it go? Did it take her soul or something? right behind her it's breathing on her neck oh my god well rip it was nice knowing you ew the way it's just breathing on her Well, actually, rip. What in the world? That was actually really creepy. That was actually a really scary one to end it off on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's uh, Scary Saturday episode. Um, I'll leave everything that was uh, reacted to 
link down below if you guys want to check out the original videos but thanks for watching follow me on twitter if you want to send over some submissions but i'll see you guys next week all right bye and i'm sorry for being one day late this week i'm sorry i, I, I really am